Okay, what I've done is I've made some strands. But they're not long because I want to add a bunch of stuff as I go. So what you do is you start a knot at the top. Or you can say 12 o'clock I suppose. And then you're basically gonna every inch or so you're gonna go around and you're gonna loop it so that it it goes in together. Now this is a it's not easy to do, okay? You have to take your time because it is a uh, it's kind of a pain in the bum so as you see I just make a little bridge see that and you try to do that every inch as you go so now I'm gonna hold this piece right here where I just sold it and I'm going to put another one in. So I want to go around there. And again, pull it all the way around. I guess hey, it's a, a bit of a pain in the bum, but then you, when you get there, you got to pull it in towards the center, see? So you got, so it goes like that, and you just keep doing that all the way around. Uh, leave about an inch, because it gets smaller and smaller as you go, and if it's too small, you can't, you can't do it no more, all right? Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Thank you to the magic of YouTube. A mere seconds have passed by and I've got the outside ring all sewed on all the way around. See? Isn't that great? That's the magic of YouTube. Alright, now I'm just going to show you a couple of stitches. Once you get the end joined back to the top up here, you hold that. And now what you're going to do is you're going to go through the center of each one of those ties that you made, you see? And then when you get to the center of it, you're going to pull it tight. And then you'll do the same with the next one. And as you'll see, the more you work at it, the more of an effect it becomes. So now I'm going to put that through there. And this one is going to cinch up to the other one. And it's important to try to keep them in the center best you can. See? Now you've got your first, first little triangle there. See? Now you hold that triangle. And you do it to the next triangle. So you go through here. And then you come back out on the other side of that string. And you pull it through. Again, you want to get it to the center of the next triangle, right? So you try to get it into the center. And you pull it tight. So, as you can see, there's your pattern starting. I'm going to keep going all the way around, over and over and over and over and over. And if you want to put special things in, you can as you go along, but that's a different thing altogether to what I'm doing right now. So,
So there you go. As you see, slowly but surely it becomes a pattern. And it, sometimes it don't end up the exact pattern you're thinking. But that's okay. It's not about that. And then you got to pull it tight. And as you go, it'll just keep changing everything. Until finally it settles on where it's going. Well, the thing with this is you can't... You can't always tell what, you're, what it's going to look like. Because it does have a mind of its own. So you can only have the pattern in your head and hope it turns out. <laughs> well, see? The pattern's there. Just You have to get more and more to the center for the pattern to, to stay stabilized. At the, edge, at the end of each pattern, I do blessings from whichever whichever sources using. So, like when I'm done this pattern, this this one, I'm gonna thank the animal spirits, and then the next one I'll be thanking the four directions. The next one I'll be thanking the four colors and then I'll thank the elementals and then I'll thank God and Jesus then I'll thank the good spirits and then I'll thank the grandfathers and grandmothers for putting their blessings on here so it becomes strong mojo and what I love about it is you never get too two of them done the same they'll never look exactly like the other one each creation is separate just like us every individual is special because no two individuals are the same that's what makes us special well, when you do stuff like this no two creations that you make are going to be the same either. Because each person you created for, they're different. So, you can't expect one to look like the other when they're for two different people. I want to put some extra charms and stuff on this one for short fry. So that's why I'm doing them in stages rather than in one long string. Make sure to always, when you're doing this, that um, your feed line goes behind the line that just entered. So you're back looping your thread. Otherwise, you can't get no tension as you go along. Eh? And that's the other thing too, depending on how much tension you put on, will depend on how big your gaps are. So if you want small gaps, you put more tension. And if you want bigger gaps, you put less tension. But you always gotta... Okay, so I gotta now hold this piece here. Because I don't want this to move now, right? So I'm gonna hold this piece while I sew the next piece. So you're thumb is always on the one that you just did holding it in spot until you tie this off it's all being held by the last stitch you did it's not like um, see now all these other ones are being held in by this one tiny little stitch so if I let go of this it all comes undone Alright, so now we're back at the start. I'm going to start to see. See how that's going? So now you go in between each of the ones that you did before. So you hold that one. And away 
there you go. And you just keep doing it till you run out of thread. Or, well, not really. Leave about six inches so you can tie it off and tie the other one to it. See? And these strings, here, yeah, don't worry about these ones that are on the side because they're supposed to be there. <laughs> Those are for something else. It takes me a long time to make one of these because well for one thing I put a lot of prayers into it and so there you go just to give you a quick little look I'm gonna tie this off now for now but just to give you a quick little look of how it's starting to go all right talk to you soon so as you can see it's starting slowly to take its own shape which is really the point and um, I think it's going to look pretty good when it gets done well there's your first line in uh, your first string so somewhere in here I'm going to put a charm and then I'm going to do the second string and then probably here I'll put another charm and then maybe one here um, But anyway, uh, yeah. So I'm hoping you're liking it. All right, talk to you soon.